lot. You better get her because you know this will get real no, you, left. No, you real quick. Thanks, she's the only one who has you real quick. Shot. She got done very nice. Real quick. Shada and Bilal's ex-wife Shahida go at it. Southeast Day go will be up if in here. Up in here, up in here. During what was supposed to be a meeting to peacefully reconcile their differences. No, don't can. say so much because you don't Listen. know me. Y'all, it gets so bad, Bilal starts to pray during the argument. So you a bully. Yes, you are a bully. You better get her. No. Because I'm going to reach across that table and bring you out. I don't... Oh, no, Shahida. Why did we have to go there? Listen, you don't know listen. Who's listen. Shahida. Let's get into it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Malicia. All right, I have to make this recap quick because I'm headed out of town. But I didn't want to leave without us having a conversation about this argument between Shida and Shahida. By the way, just a follow up from last week's recap, so you're in the loop. Samit's mom continues her fit this episode. She disowned him last week after he told her he secretly married Jenny. And this week, she told him he can't come to her funeral. She banned her son from coming to her funeral. She told him he can't go to his dad's either. Wow. Samit is making huge sacrifices for the sake of love. And his mom, I mean, it just seems like she thinks of the worst things to say. That's tough. I'm not the type to be dealing with any baby mama drama. All right, on to Shida and Bilal. These two are meeting up with his ex-wife, Shahida, with hopes of hashing out the issues that are going on between them. If you need a refresher, Shida feels as if she deserves an apology from Shahida. I have to know that, you know, you're not here for just what he has. For how she spoke to her when she visited the house, to inquire about Shida signing a prenup, you know, the kids have been here. Yeah. I have been here. Shahida definitely insinuated that I am here for the wrong reasons, like I'm here to take what Bilal has. On the other hand, at the tell-all, Shahida revealed that she wants an apology from Shida and Bilal. When the truth is revealed, he'll owe me an apology. She will too. For what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty worried about the meeting with my ex-wife. Just on the ride here, Shida had like a defensive demeanor about herself. Shahida shows up at the restaurant with no intention to apologize to Shida. Last meeting that I had with Bilal, he told me that I overstepped uh, the friendship bound with Shida. I was just trying to look out for his well-being and his best interests as well as the kids. Apologizing for what? No. I knew right after that moment that this was not going to go well. How's everything going with you all? I'm good. I was just looking forward to like meeting you again, hopefully on pleasant terms. Once Shahida gets to the table, Shida lets her know that she felt disrespected when Shahida came to her home. Okay, what did I say to make you hurt and upset? I think it's not what you say, but how you said it. You were very much aggressive. You had a lot of reach. Uh, Shida. Um, Shahida, did I yell at you? No, but it sounds like you're about to. Shida points out to Shahida that the same tone she's using right now. I'm not about to sit here and stand for that because that's not what I did. Is the same energy she approached her with at the house. Bilal tries to get through to his ex by telling her that just because you think what you said wasn't hurtful doesn't mean that it didn't hurt Shida. People take things in different ways. It's like you came ranting and raving. I was just like standing in the kitchen, like, I don't want her coming back. Like, I was like ready to ban you from my home. It's like, she cannot come back here and behave like that. Ban me from my home? From your home? Yeah. Okay. Shahida's probably thinking, I would come to that house before Bilal even knew you. And you're gonna ban me? But Shida is his wife now. And that is her home. I think that, you know, um, what was done could have been done a lot better. You know, yeah. um, came at, you know, my wife. Uh, uh, you know, Say that again, came at who? 
A wife. My, yeah. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you know, grown adults, you know, and it shouldn't be any bad blood between either one of y'all. Like, I don't want it to be like bad blood between us. I was looking to get to know you, have a good relationship with you. I was actually hoping for us to like be cordial with each other. Like I wanted us to be compatible for the sake of the kids. But I just want you to acknowledge the fact that when you came inside my home, you came with rage, you were not cordial, you were not polite. That's all I want you to like acknowledge it. The truth is people apologize all the time when they don't want to for peace sake. It's not the end of the world. All Shahida has to say is, Shida, my intention was not to disrespect you, but if it came off that way, I apologize. Simple. But no, sometimes our pride gets in the way. I'm not gonna apologize for something that I didn't do. Then why did you come here? I came here to actually clear the apology. air, but I'm not apologizing for I'm you done. telling- I'm done, I'm literally done. Bala, you better get her because you know this will get real no, you, left. No, you better get quick. her. It's already gone left. Southeast I, Dago will be up if in here. So what? Yeah, you know someone's about to turn up when they start calling out where they're from. Southeast I, Dago will be up if in here. So what? I don't care. And, and, and don't say so. Don't say so much because you don't listen, know me. Listen, You're putting you something on me that did not happen. Stop to lie. Stop to lie. I'm not trying to be a bully to you. But you're not going to back me into a corner. You're a bully. Yes, you are a bully. You are a bully, Shahida. To be honest, I wish I had more time to discuss my thoughts. But for a number of reasons, this argument bothers me. These are two women who are capable of having a healthy conversation. It didn't have to go down this route. I'm not really concerned with who's at fault with things going left real quick. This will get real no, left. No, you better get hot. But overall, I think it's unfortunate that it had to turn out this way. You need to watch who you're talking to, okay? Be quiet for a second, please. Can I no. say something? And, and I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do that with her because she don't know me. You don't know me either, Shahida. You better get her. No. Because I will reach across that table and bring then, you out. I don't okay. care. Go ahead. And that's the conduct you want to conduct yourself as a Muslim woman? Yes, what kind of example are you setting for your 16 year old daughter? You, listen, you don't know who you're talking to, Shahida. That is no example. After Shahida leaves, Shida and Bilal get up to go. And he's clearly upset about the entire matter. Uh, I can't even put words into my mouth right now. It's just, just the feeling of how things went. I have no idea what's going to happen now and what's what to do or anything. When I spoke to Bilal and Shida recently, asked for an update on where things stand with Shahida. Here's what they had to say. Well, we are cordial. You know, for the sake of the children, you have to be cordial because sometimes the bigger picture is you focus on your children. So despite if you're feeling some type of way, you try to put your differences aside just to be cordial with the person, which I have been, you know, have been doing it hard, you know. But at the same time, I am looking at this as, oh, this is, I'm in a family unit now. So for the sake of the kids and for the sake of having a peaceful family life, she and I are cordial. Cordial okay. again, you can to give good morning, good evening, and goodbye. Whew, are y'all ready for this Bilal and Shida train? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, I won't have a recap for you next week, but I will be back the following week with everything you need to know. In the meantime, make sure you stick with ET because we're covering it all. See you next time.